Hello everyone, and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victoria 2 as the Soviet Union. So let's get right into it. We're going to finish our Great War now, and what a great war it is. It's been three videos of me fighting this war against the United Kingdom. So, uh, let's finish this up. Uh, I'm going to try to get some troops over here in these transports. And on to uh, India. Uh, looks like we're maxed out. Okay, 45 transports. Uh, oh, can we use... Suez. Oh god, I don't think we can use the Suez. Damn. Shit, we're gonna have to sail all the way around Africa. Shit. Hmm, I don't think that... No, 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 that's not necessary. Let's just capture the Suez with these guys. Actually, you can move down here, can you? No. They will not give us access, you shithead. more research points. Oh, good. We can get infiltration now to get tanks. Perfect. Japanese patriots. Rising red. <laughs> right up on top of these unsuspecting uh, whatever they are. What is this garbage? We have a really colorful looking flag. Uh, Travancore. Yeah. This poor Travancore is did not expect that. And we're recruiting our brand new regiments over here to uh, finally to get back Prussian nationalists. Ugh. Ugh. Go deal with them. Stay quiet, you hear? Don't try anything stupid. Oh, come on. The, my, the glorious Orissa Navy over here. Nice try, but uh, no cigar. Let's just land one of our guys over here. What is this? Purge the traitors. Yes, purge the traitors. Purge them all. Why are you going all the way over there? Oh, okay, because you're on auto suppress. Err, derp. 917. We're going to be losing the occupation of that. And they'll be busy trying to deal with these Travancore soldiers over here. Boy, I sure they did not expect that. They don't resist it, just to take it. Good. Occupy the Suez. Get on the boat. Back on the boat. Back on the boat. Back on the boat. Back on the boat. Speaking of which, let me just check to see if we even need. Hmm, huh, I don't think we're even in need to go to make our way over there. However, I would like to have some troops at the ready to put down any revolts. Wow, they're still putting up a fight. Damn bastards. All must hear splendor. Yes, of course they must. Stop fighting. God damn it. Bristol, Delhi, infantry. Oh yeah, they're, they're bringing in their... They're actually bringing in their colonial troops. Holy crap. Go away, Britain. Give up. Just turn over and die already. Just give up. 
You're not winning this battle. Yeah. Calls for a combat. Excellent. 11 prestige. Ugh. You're really getting on my nerves. Are they dead? Yes. No, they're not. Just, just turn over and die. Just give up, Britain. Just die, please. Just, just go away. Okay. Uh, are our ships there yet? No, they're not. They're still making their way there. <sighs> Ninety-nine. Will they accept? I wonder. They have a hundred percent war exhaustion. They're beating the hell up. They would not accept. Well, you're a stubborn little shit, aren't you? Guess we need a hundred. Well, that's fine. I can get. I can get a hundred war score. Oh, please go. Ah, finally! There, 100% war score. There's still a communist government. Uh, they would accept Iceland will be released. Okie doke. Here we go. There, United Kingdom accepted our generous peace offer. Install a communist government in the United Kingdom. And now we're number one in the world. Oh, excellent. Acquire South Bengal. Acquire North Bengal. Awad is released. Hyderabad is released. Mysore is released. Orissa is released. Iceland acquires all states with core provinces. Dismantle construction in Piemonte. Dismantle construction in Siamese Laos. Dismantle construction in Taos and Piedmont. And 23 times quick war capitulation. Ah. Ain't that better. Look at that. Soviet Bengal. Gain four consciousness. Shut it down before it gets worse. Now nah, leave them alone. All right, Hyderabad was released. Mysore was released. Orissa was released, and Awad was released. Ah, excellent. Let's uh, build up all of our defenses over here. Ugh, you don't even have your naval bases up to date, you backwards bastards. God, you should be ashamed of yourself, Britain. Kill, literally kill yourself. And we now have a brand new uh, communist ally. Good military leadership. You bet your ass you have good military leadership, you kidding? You kidding me? And we're gonna make piles of money because of that great war capitulation. That is something we shouldn't even be worried about. Provinces brought under control. Ah, yes. That rebellion has been put down, it looks like. Thanks to the <laughs> Awad, or whatever. What? No, it was Travancore. Oh god, what is this? Mongolian White Army. deal with it. And now we take a little bit of a time off. Uh, do we even get any war exhaustion? 50% war exhaustion. Yeah, we did. Quite a bit of war exhaustion. Oh. Number four in industrial production. That's weird. We were number two for a little bit. I guess it was because Britain had was beat up Severely, and we got a temporary uh, boost in our score. We are not number one. We're number one in prestige, number one in military, but not number one in not number one in um, uh, in 
in our glorious our, in our glorious uh, industry. Number four. What's the what's that looking like? United States number one, France three, Soviet Union, and NGF. We can probably recruit a lot of native soldiers. F Fifty! Sixty! F oh my! Holy shit! Sixty-five brigades and... 15. No wonder they had so many soldiers out of this. Okay, it looks like we really drained their soldier base over here. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. Supply limit. Uh, what's the highest supply limit? Looks like it's Calcutta. Alright, let's uh, build up some, uh, some soldiers over here. It looks like we can build... A lot of regulars, actually. I don't know. Can we? Can we build a lot of regulars in this place? Or is it looks like it's mostly uh, infantry? Yeah. It's mostly infantry. That's fine. Let's build a giant brigade. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we get one of these in somewhere in here? Karaganda. Can we get a curious here as well? Maybe it'd be good for the attack since we're not going to be able to get. Or a dragoon, maybe. Or should those require. Uh, I guess those are more specialty troops, unfortunately. Oh well. Iceland was released. Oh yeah. They are now a democracy, unfortunately. They do not last. We're going to keep these troops around to prevent any sorts of uprisings, of course, in the, in the United Kingdom. <sighs> so we're going to have our troops stationed here to prevent any sort of rabble rousing on the population's part so they do not think of flipping to any other form of unenlightened government type the fools they are and we have a lot of troops so we can afford to station a couple hundred thousand stabilize the bomb oh that finally happened wow that took a while yeah the Balkans was already stabilized, but uh, that's fine. I guess just Greece, Albania was released, I suppose. I don't remember if Albania existed beforehand. Ah, oh well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Absolutely influencing Oh shit, I forgot to take the super Sinai. No. Oh poop. Oh well. Uh, we're friends with Britain now, so that that's uh, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I'm not too worried about that. At least we have Bengal. Our population should jump horrendously right now. It should be disgusting. Yeah, 36% of our population is Bengali. <laughs> Jesus. That's really... That's ridiculous. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, the majority of our, of our population is located in these two states. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is, this is absolutely obscene. Good lord, a little bit. Yeah, people are happy, it seems like it. Everything is everything is right with the world. I can all build tanks. Excellent. Uh, economic responsibility, yeah, sure. Education efficiency. We need to get our uh, our um we're still lacking a little bit. We're still lacking a little bit in terms of 
education. So, yeah. France, Austria, the, the UK, the NGF, and yeah, everyone, all of these are now glorious. What the f hell is these? Italian fascists. Ooh, Italian fascists have awoken. So maybe Italy will, be, will turn fascist. Interesting. That was an exciting... Uh, that was a very exciting uh, Great War. Too bad I couldn't dismantle the... Uh, the British Empire. They still retain a lot of their colonies, but we took away their most populated colony. So, yeah. I would say that it is their most populated colony, considering how you know, the majority of our population is Bengali. I mean, for Christ's sake. That is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of people. We can build a tank factory now. Long live the Soviet Union, you bet. What do we need to build tanks? Steel, par parts, and uh, grain. Any places where we are producing any of these things to get a production bonus? I bet there are somewhere. Like Moscow, we produce a lot of iron, a lot of steel in Moscow. But that will involve closing one of these factories. Hmm. Well, these factories are already super profitable. I don't. I don't. Not interested in closing them. To be perfectly honest. Any place where it produces gears or steel. Yeah, this Podilia produces gears. Let's put that over here. Samara produces steel, so you are getting a tank factory, that's for sure. Oh yeah, we can also get airplane factories as well. Since you produce gears as well, get a little bonus. Smolensk. You don't produce any of these, but that's fine. I don't really need that many of them, I suppose. Where are you at number three in the world in terms of uh, industrialization? We are doing really well. Do you have any large revolts? No, people are, people are rather happy. That must be that must be the result of having really good pensions. Fifteen thousand pounds a day just in pensions. Holy crap! And the fact that our prestige is like through the roof that really contributes to the fact that we can buy anything we want in the world market. Yeah, they're not building up their own army. It's going to take them a while to do that. Oh yes, we should be able to also in, uh, improve our fortifications in the border states. Uh, we should certainly be doing that. And in our colonies. More susceptible to attack. I don't need to worry about Palestine anymore, so that's fun. That's pretty decent. It's nice to have it, but it's more of a worry than anything else. We're already upgrading our forts over there. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, upgrade our forts over here in Primorie and in Sakhalin. And over here. And the Bonin Islands. Hmm, maybe we want to release them to be independent as well, because we they had some problems with rebellion. Yeah, let's make them into a, just a puppet state, a Ryukyu. Yeah, let's just release them as a satellite. Partially westernized. What? Check the timer so I don't go over again. Huh, and now we should be able to start preparing for the United States, I suppose. Or, um. Oh my lord. What the hell is going on here, Jacobins? Hmm. 
I should really get Brazil as a into my sphere or something so I can get uh, plenty of rubber. We need rubber. We don't have a lot of that in our sphere. We should already have that. Yep. They have uh, most of the world's rubber. The Brits have a lot of it too. The French have a lot of it. We have some. Oh, now that I checked, did I check if there's any rubber in in Bengal? No, there isn't. Ugh, there's a lot of tea, though. So we're no longer importing tea. That's good. But no, no, uh... What the hell is the Sikh Empire? Does this... Is a war of the Chinese? For what? War of the Kashgar Concession. What? Oh, they want Kashgar. This... They're only partially westernized. What's their civilization level? 85%. They're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, that might be a little bit a pain in the ass. 85% westernized. Almost. They have cores on our friend Korea and on us. might be worth our while to uh, break them up into cliques. Like at least get something like the Fangtian clique, give some of their some of the Mongolian cores, or just release the. F yeah, we could give Mongolia some of their cores. Uh, release the Fangtian clique. And the Anhui clique as buffer states. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Since China is now very, very close to westernizing, I don't want to see them westernize. Um, that would be very bad. We have, already have a lot of troops over here, too. So I don't really need to worry about uh, transporting any troops. Burma is already giving us access. So we should be able to just cross over here. Britain is giving us access, so we can just walk on over. Okay, let's go. Let's start fabricating a claim. Maximum, okay. If we actually succeed in building any ground, we have some submarines. Well, that's about it. Uh, we should be able to blockade them fairly well. What's this? Portugal. Okay. Uh, let's uh, have a Liberate country, CB. Korean reactionaries. Ugh, no, 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 no. Korea, please. Gonna help him out. Arg! Get off, Korea, you bastards. It's mine. Let's just merge these two. Korea to flip. That would be bad. I want Korea to remain a loyal ally. They've been really good. And reactionaries, that's bad. They'll become a, I think a, um, they'll either become a presidential, dic I think they'll become an absolute monarchy or something. I don't know what proletarian dictatorship uh, downgrades to once they become, they get occupied by reactionaries. I do not recall. Okay, they're gone. Good. Now take Seoul back. Electrical power generation, yes, of course. First to the South Pole. A glorious day for science in our nation. You bet. Let's put more guys over here so we can get rid of... Please, 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 do not flip. Do not flip. Wow, 
Oh, somebody's mad. Do not flip. Oh, fuck. They became a presidential dictatorship. Okay. Damn. Well, we will institute uh, dictatorship once more. A great country, and let's get a friendly communist government over here started in Korea. A capitalist gained consciousness. Yeah, sure. Because we wouldn't have that many capitalists in the first place, so whatever. Started in there. Why not? I should be a very quick to produce uh, war. And there we go. Yeah, we have troops in their country, so we can't attack now. Come on, quick. You've made a big mistake, Korea. And let us not waste time and declare war on them at the same time. Uh, let's see, what can we liberate? It was Feng Tian clique. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's the Feng Tian clique we can release. What is the most populated state that we can release? Down here, or down here, Changzong. Anhui clique, first. Of course, they will, they will come because they're our puppet. Uh, Kyrgyzstan, you will come because you're our puppet as well, and you're right there in the border. Please do come. Come on, come on. We are going to try to come get... Maybe maybe they will independently become communists. Let's just see what happens to these uh, independent Indian states. Maybe they will even form India. That would be interesting to see. What's this? Mongolia wants access. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Friend. Get out of my way, Korea. We're in a hurry. Wow, they're all, we can actually recruit Russians in here. Damn, that's pretty impressive. There already are Russians migrating to that region. Let's see. Jasor. Migrants from Memo, Chukur, Yeah, we're getting... Oh my god. We're getting plenty of immigration from our... from our... our, our main, the mainland. I wasn't... I'm not expecting that. What's, what's their uh, military tech anyways? They're probably way behind. Five, yeah, they're, they're just gonna get smashed. Almost feel bad for them. You stay here and occupy this. The other one just march straight on through. Check the timer. March straight on to the capital. We're doing fine. Another minute. Another time to. Plenty of time to at least uh, occupy the Chinese capital. Finally building up more ships, and we're reaching a hundred million pounds. My god, we are just filthy rich. I don't even know what to do with all that money. Can we release another state over here? Yes, Yunnan. We should be able to break them up.
add more cores to Mongolia. And we occupy everything super fast because they're primitives. Oh, they can mobilize already, though. They're civilized enough to mobilize, and that's going to be a bit scary. <laughs> mobilize China, it takes... Uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Are we going to get there? September 11th. Oh, no. <laughs> no, we're not going to get there by 9-11 to kick their butts. What are you doing here, Korea? Go home. You're drunk. Soviet Korea, we're almost done with that war. I'm already occupied their capital, already kicked their butts pretty hard. Alright, this should do it for this episode. We're done here. I'll return next time. Ah, well, this is looking this is a nice looking world. <laughs> Almost all communist. I just need to convert uh, Italy, Spain, and Portugal, and we're going to have pretty much an all uh, communist Europe. Ireland is still communist. They have a little bit of a rebellion. See, that's what I was talking about. They have a few fascists over here, but uh, nothing that they can't handle. They still have pretty high war exhaustion. We still have 24% too. Huh. Pretty high too high if you ask me so anyways let's uh, end this here and i'll see you next time thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed this episode i sure have enjoyed i'm enjoying this campaign quite a lot actually thank you for watching guys and if you like what you see please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to show your support thank you very much and as always have a great one